Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we got in the box, and it's a big old box. Oh, still water designs. Model L seven one five four one seven one five two. Huh. I bet it's a dual forum voice call. Huh. Wow, look at that. Gross weight forty seven pounds. Hey. Eh? Wow. Huh. Yeah, box got a little beat up. No big deal. Yeah, y'all need to see where I live. Y'all need to see my goodness. All right, well, that's it. I didn't cut the tape. I've actually done taking out of the box, y'all. So we're doing a unboxing, reboxing. Guess y'all can see that. Hmm, I don't know what y'all can see and can't see. I ain't paying attention. Y'all stick with it. We unboxing the Q. Series L715. Let's raise y'all up a little bit there. All right, what y'all think about that? Ooh. All right. Well, we got the. Uh, let me remove that first. And y'all know what we got to do to a big heavy woofer. There she is. 47 pounds of all of her glory. So, flip around. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Let's get rid of that nonsense. We ain't gonna need that. And we will need this. This is gonna be our template that we're gonna use to cut the woofer out with. As you can see there. So we'll gently set that over there. Now, I know, ripping y'all off. Y'all getting a re re unboxing. Let me re readjust you guys here. All right. We got to rotate this over here. out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yes sir. You are looking at the Kicker Q Class L715. Yes I got dogs so we got a little dog hair on her. She ain't gonna hurt nothing. And let's see what we get in the box here. We got some gaskets. And look at that little kicker emblem. I know where that's gonna go. We don't need it on the woofer, it's already got one. So we're gonna set that over there. Then of course we get our owner's manual. Now you can go open it. We'll go over specifications here in just a minute. And yeah, we got two of them. Got two of them. We're only unboxing one though. Once you've seen one, you've seen it all. So, you see, you get your typical stop called kicker cut technical support. If you need any oh, help with box specifications or anything like that. And as you can see there, she's nicely embedded in a little fitted styrofoam. And let's go ahead and take her out the box. We're going to move the box out of the way. And set our rotisserie. Now, get her out of the bag. And there we go. There she is. Let's see if we can go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit. And drop this camera down just a notch. And maybe back y'all up just a hair. Hope I'm not making y'all seasick. But yeah, there she goes. There's a Kicker Q-Class L715. I'm going to duck you guys down in a minute and we're going to take a real close look at her. 
you know, make sure she's balanced, y'all. Look at that big booty. Big booty there, guys. Look at that. Yeah, let's go ahead and that rotisserie can't even stand the weight. Look at that. Man, that thing is stiff. Yeah, I know. Look at that. How about one more time around? You want to go one more time around? We're going to go over this in a little closer details on a second. We're just giving y'all a little teaser. Look at the fins right there. We're going to show you what that's about in a second, too. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a big old joker. All right, let me reposition this camera. We're going to get detailed look, guys. Hang on. Alright y'all, we got y'all a little closer up. We're going to give her one more spin around the rotisserie. Look at those nice, um, appear to be about 8 gauge spring loaded terminals. Here again, we're going to take a little closer look at them. Let's just go ahead and spin her on around. I want to point out these um, fins here for a second. And this whole basket, as you can hear, is cast loom the whole entire even down to there. So let's give her a spin around. Of course, we got our nice kicker emblem there. I guess that other one is in the package as a spare. I'm not sure why. Go ahead and spin around one more time. Look at the woven in tinsel leaves on that massive, um, super stiff spider. This thing is, God, that's stiff. I don't think I've ever run across a kicker whipper that stiff. So that was one more time around the rotisserie. And now we're going to get to pointing out some closer specifications. I mean, that is, that rubber has got to be a good, probably just about a quarter an inch thick on the um, surround there. And notice we got the patented ribs for, so that way the corners don't tear themselves out. We got stitched, reinforced, Holly Cone. Yeah, hang on a second, guys. All right, y'all, back at you with a closer up shot of the terminals here on this big boy. Like I said, pretty cool. Square terminals. They accept what looks like to be an 8 gauge to me. Shouldn't be an issue. This is a dual 2 ohm model. And let me raise you guys up here just a little bit. We're going to get really tight on this inside here and spin around to a point where it's a good clean shot there we go as you can see we got our woven in tinsel leads right here and this kind of spider is insanely stiff wow and we can get in there and see if i can raise y'all back up and i really hope i don't think i can Ah, messed it up, y'all. Come on, baby. Focus. There we go. Ah, I want to point out something here that's going to be camera challenging. Let me see if we get a light in here. There we go. Hopefully you guys can make this out. If we notice right in here, at the um right at the spider you're going to notice where we basically adapt from being connected to the round coil here to a smaller um more almost the octagon shape you can see the come on camera get some focus ah. yeah hardest thing is is trying to focus on these close-ups see if it'll Jeez, let's not really want to focus in there, y'all. Anyway, it's to like a smaller piston that actually drives the cone. And that is actually pretty darn cool. I hadn't realized that in the design of these things that, um, that yeah, the, um, I don't know what you want to call this piece because it's not the cone. Ah, come on, camera. Come on, camera. You can do it. 
There we go. Now let me switch her to manual focus so she won't lose focus. There we go. We can see it now. And yeah, and then that is actually attached to the cone itself. And this thing actually appears to have eight to ten corners to it. Kind of like a hexagon, octagon, hexagon kind of shape going on there. And what else did I have that I want? Oh, yeah. Let me get you guys positioned a little downward. And let me work on the focus here. Give her something to focus on. There we go. And switch her back to manual. Okay. These here are actual heat sinks for the voice coil. So let me pull this light off of here and I don't know if we're gonna be able to really get I can try to manipulate you guys a little further down yeah we're just not gonna be able to see in there yeah I mean I can see it but the camera's just not gonna catch it but that is actually a heat sink for the voice coil I wish they'd get in there Maybe if I go like this. I'm trying, y'all. Y'all bear with me. That gum it. If anybody else was doing this video, you'd be all up in there. Not me. I suck at doing these. Anywho. Alright, let's move this. I'm trying to adjust this tripod, y'all, so we can try to get in there. It. This is a really cool feature and y'all need to see it. That's as far as I can get zoomed in. I know. Yeah, we're just not going to be able to get in there. Ah, right, there we go. As you can see the voice coil right in behind there and these heat sinks are actually attached to the motor structure the magnet and that actually creates additional cooling for the voice coil and air of course obviously pumps out of these vents here you see we got them on all four corners including the corner here with the terminal so that is really cool and i'll show you there picture here the exploded diagram and see better how that works see we were looking at the uh, vents here as you can see we got an aluminum piece attached here to the voice coil former so that way yeah it'll handle additional power and additional abuse and there is no doubt in my mind that this sub is going to handle every bit of the 1200 watts RMS. Now some of the other main features of these subs is the variable cross-section elastomeric surrounds that increase the excursion. <coughs> Boom. We just want to set that bad boy there. Let's back her out some while we talk about specifications and you guys can sit here and kind of look at it raise up some for a little better shot all right then of course we got the stitch around the cone that and, and glued increases for maximum bond and strength then we got mounting hardware covers for a clean flush installation that's gonna be a cover that that's what we had in the package over there and we got our blue lace around which we've already done looked at and the rotisserie said no i don't want to hold that thing up no more so put her back up on the rotisserie so there's our blue lace around and then we got the course we talked about the finned aluminum heat sinks Around the voice coil for greater heat dissipation, dissipation, 
And then we have the laser etched polymer components for improved bond. And we got the FEA motor, optimized motor structures for increased power handling. Yeah, I'm, I can read the instructions real well, guys. Now let's go on to other specifications for this QL715. Like I discussed, it um, 1200 watts RMS without an issue. And I'm looking in the owner's manual here, y'all. And of course, I do not see the. Oh, there we go. It's on the wrong page. We have a FS resonance frequency response of 31.8. We got a sensitivity measured at one watt one meter of 87.26. A QTS of 0.74. A QMS of 12.37, a QES of 0.79, the RE ohms is 3.61 per coil, I would actually, actually that's in a combined coil, and the VOS on this one is 3, is 2.59 cubic feet, the X max is 21.5, as we discussed, power handling, which should not be an issue at 1200 watts RMS. And that is really going to about do it, guys, for my quick unboxing and overview of the Kicker Q L7152. Yeah, she's beefy, no doubt. Uh, before we end this, I did get the grill for it so we will move him out the way and we will go ahead and move our light out the way and we'll get her out the plastic I don't know why I called the grill her but anyway here goes our grill this would be the GL 7150 which I have found out is now discontinued so I have got to source another one now we'll get her out the package move this light out the way we're not gonna need it I don't think and here we go with it and go ahead and And with like all of the kicker Q stuff, it is built like a daggone tank. I mean, it is, that's not plastic, that's actually uh, aluminum round through there with some brass inserts because the rotisserie. And we'll set that there and we got to raise you guys back up. There's a good shot of the grill, and it's actually made with that little indention there. So, let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Get this video finished up here with the big behemoth in the place. And get you on a little twisted around. And... Yeah, there we go. I'm going ahead and taking all the guys off the tripod. We're about done. So, yeah. And there's the Kicker QL7152 with the QG, well, the GL7150 grill. So, really good look digging it loving it and like i said we do have two of them and yeah that's gonna about do it guys we'll catch you all in the next one